All right, so how can the five number summary be used? In our previous video, we talked about the five number summary and how to find it. And over here, you can see the five number summary from the data set that we've been using for this series of videos. The minimum one, quartile, first quartile three, me, the median or second quartile is four, the quart, third quartile is five, and the maximum is 15. But how can we use it? Well, one way we can use it is to make a box plot. Box plot is a way to display quantitative data. And it's one of my favorites. I love box plots. I think that they're very useful, especially when you're comparing two sets of data. So here's how you make a box plot using the five number summary. I've got um, a number line set up here, and it goes from 0 all the way to 15. And then there's the label, the number of times Mr. Mays has watched the original Star Wars movie in a year since 1977. So I've got all my labels. I probably could give it a title, but this is pretty much the title and the label at the same time. So how do I use this five number summary? Well, the first thing that I do is I mark where the first quartile, the median, and the third quartile go on my number line. And that's where I really want to start. I want to start with these three the first quartile, the median, and the third quartile. And the way that I do that is I create three short little vertical lines. And the box plot itself should be above the number line. Don't put the box plot right on the number line. It's difficult to read, and especially if you're trying to compare a couple different box plots, don't put it on the number line, put it above the number line. So my first quartile is at three, which is right here. I'm going to put a, put a vertical line right there. And then my next quartile is at, or I should say my median, let's go with that one next, is at 4. So I'm going to put this one right here at 4. I'm cloning these little notches so that they're all the same size. And then my last one, or the third quartile, is at 5. So I put this one right here. So there I have put a little vertical dash above my third quartile, first quartile, the median, and my third quartile. The next thing that we do is we turn that into a box. This is called a box plot. And I just close up the box, and there I have created my box. Now sometimes this is also called a box and whisker plot. And the reason it's called a box and whisker is because with the minimum and the maximum, eventually you're going to use these values to create whiskers. Okay? Well, before we do that, we want to do something else that is very useful about a box plot, and that is to find outliers. We've mentioned outliers before in class. We've mentioned outliers before in some of these videos. So how can we find an outlier? How can we tell if something is an outlier? This 15 for the maximum looks like it could possibly be an outlier. I'm not sure if it is or not, but it could be an outlier. So how can I find that? Well, in order to find outliers, what we're going to do is find something called fences. We're going to find a lower fence. We're also going to find an upper fence. Okay, and there's a formula for both of those. In order to find the lower fence, the formula that we're going to use is we are going to take the first quartile, which in this case is three, and subtract away one and a half times something called the IQR. What is the IQR? Let me type this in. The IQR is the same as the interquartile range. Okay, that's what it's called, the interquartile range. And how do we find the IQR? Well, in order to find the IQR, we take the value for the third quartile minus the value for the first quartile. That is how we can find the interquartile range. So let's go ahead and do that right now, find the interquartile range, because if we don't have the interquartile range, then we're not going to be able to find where the upper and lower fences are located. <coughs> so let's find that. Q3 is 5. Q4 
of the lower quartile is 3. So we go 5 minus 3, which is 2. There's our interquartile range. Okay? The upper quartile is found by taking the third quartile plus 1.5 times the interquartile range. All right, so let's do the math behind it. I'll use a different color here to distinguish. The lower quartile is going to be Q1, which is 3, minus 1.5 times the interquartile range, which is 2. And that's going to tell us where the lower fence is located. Well, 1.5 times 2 is 3. So this is actually 3 minus 3, which is 0. That is where my lower fence is located. And sometimes you'll see people put little brackets in here where the lower fence is located. Okay, maybe a bracket like that. Okay? The brackets are not necessary for the upper and lower fences. If you have them there, I'm okay with it. Most people will probably be okay with it, but traditionally, they're not there. So I'm just going to put the lower fence in for now and put the upper fence in here in just a second, and then, then I'm going to erase them. So let's go with the upper fence. I take the third quartile, which is 5, minus 1.5 times the interquartile range, which is, th which is 2. So I go 5 minus 5, 1.5 times 2 is 3. Or I'm sorry, I add these together. Made a mistake there. 5 plus 1.5 times 2. So 5 plus 1.5 times the interquartile range, which is 3, takes me to 8. So my upper fence is located at 8. I'm just going to put this in for right now. And <clears throat> those are going to help us find any outliers. So here we go. This is, what you, this is how you use the fences. In order to make the whiskers, remember I was talking about the whiskers before, what you do is you take, to make the whisker on the left-hand side of this box, box plot, you take the lowest value in your data set, which is inside the lower fence. Okay? I'll say that again. We want to take the lowest value in our data set that is inside the lower fence. Well, the minimum is 1, and 1 is inside of this lower fence, so that is where I am going to put another little bar at 1, and then I take that little bar and I connect it to my box. I have now created my lower whisker, okay? Because I took the lowest value, which is inside the lower fence, and the lower fence is at 0, and the minimum is at 1, so there is my whisker. Now what about the whisker on the right-hand side? Well, I take the lowest value or I take that back, I take the highest value that is inside the upper fence, and that's going to create my whisker on the right-hand side. Well, 15 is my maximum. 15 is definitely not inside of my lower fence. So i got to go back and look at my other data set. So let's go back and look at the original data set, which is right here. Right there is my original data set. Um, and let's look at the ones that are in order. Right there they are. Okay. I'm going to focus in on that. And it appears that right here, the largest value that is inside of that upper fence is going to be 8. Okay. Now, 8 is right on the fence, and that's okay. It can be on the fence or inside the fence, and that will give me my, that'll help me make my uh, whisker on the right hand side or on the upper side. So let's go back to my box plot and the largest value that's inside or right on that fence is 8. I'm going to go ahead and just erase this upper fence because it's in the way and because I said I was going to erase the fences eventually. So there's that little notch and I connect that value, which is inside the fence or on the fence, 
I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that fence right there as well, the lower fence. And I've got my box plot. But what about this 15? We found that 15 was outside of the fence. So that is an outlier. What do I do with that 15? Well, it still is a part of our data set. So how do I label that or how do I put that into my box plot? What you do is you just put a little star where your outlier is. So this right here tells me all about the five number summary and it also tells me about any outliers that I may have in my data set. My minimum is at one, my maximum is at 15, but that's an outlier. So the maximum that is not an outlier is eight. And then I have my first quartile at three, my second quartile or the median is at four, and my third quartile is at five. That's how you can use the five number summary. That's how you find fences, upper and lower fences. That's also how you can determine if something is an outlier and that's how you make a box plot by hand.